Hello farmers, welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. In the evening hours and things are looking much better here. Um, one, the rain has stopped, finally, but it is uh, 6.30 in the evening, so I got it timed one speed. The harvest has begun. Well, it began a little while ago. I've been rather busy doing some other things. Um, we already got one cotton module I can see in our new cotton field. Yeah, I want to get that harvest kind of done this evening. I would actually love to get it replanted so that way it has a chance to grow overnight as well. Just to get the crop growing back into it. Um, yeah, we got our first trailer load of wheat, 120,000 liters. We're not going to the bakery. We're just going right here to our seed cleaner. Um, if I can slow down in time, brake is still on. There we go. That's good enough. I don't remember how much this will take, but uh, we'll give it all that I can. Um, the good news is uh, the factories are halfway up and running. All I had to do was, well, first I cleared everything out of the factories that I could, uh, sold the factories, and just replaced them back down. I did a test where the old Pepsi factory used to be. I just uh, went ahead and put down the sugar factory there, and it, everything just showed. I'm like, okay, so I, we'll just clear everything out, sell it, not sell it, but I cleared everything out, sold the factories, and replaced them back down and put our money right back right where it was before I started doing all that. In the meantime, uh, Mutt and Jeff down here, <laughs> Dumb and Dumber, have been doing the harvesting. I've done a little baling as well. And I think our seed factory is full. Um, you know what? They took exactly 60,000 liters. 60,000 seems to be a popular number here on the farm for some reason. 60,000 liter capacity on the harvester. 120,000 liter capacity on this trailer. So 60 by 60. And 60,000 liter capacity on the seed cleaner. So yeah, the rest of this wheat is going to go over to the fact um, the bakery that we have and uh, so I might as well wait until that is done here uh, I got the baler, baler going on here we're gonna probably sell most of these bales if not all of them I think the TMR mixer has a ton of straw in it so I don't need any loose straw I mean the horses will need some straw in a couple days but the TMR mixer has a lot of straw but my plan for down here I think we are gonna go with oats at least in that field in this field here that we're harvesting and the bigger field will probably put some wheat back, right back down into it. Uh, we have a lot of things I can be selling today, or this evening, and we will be. I'm trying to do multiple things at once here. The sugar, we have tons of, well, I don't want to say tons, we've had tons and tons before. We have a good amount of sugar that needs to be sold. And the price is looking really good at the town bakery. Last I checked, it was like 940 and rising. So at one time speed, it's not, we're not going to see much of a price difference in a while, but uh, we're going to be selling the sugar pretty darn soon. We also have to sell the hogs, the pigs. Yes, we're going to sell two trailers of hogs slash pigs. So that should be $164,000 income as well. So yeah, I got to fix two more factories. I'll, I'll do that between this week and next week's episodes. Uh, I don't know if I want to get rid of both those factories and just put down the one wine factory. I was going to do that, or at least try it uh, before I started recording, but I did not activate that mod. So, um, yeah, I'll give that a go in the meantime. Those factories, we really don't tool too much with anyways. I don't really ever really go over there and give water manure to it unless I just be like, yeah, it's time to put some water manure in the vineyard and then we bring the grapes over to the winery as well but um yeah i gotta look at that mod i'll try to activate it not try to activate it. i mean, first i gotta find it my mods list activate it and i'll put it down to see what it looks like what it entails and all that so those two factories may be combined to one i'm going to do the same thing if i do that i'm not going to try to profit off selling factories at that's not the point of what we're doing here so i'll look at how much money i got before i get rid of the two factories and place down the one or if i get i gotta sell the two factories and replace them again just so all the cosmetics can come back up it looks kind of weird with just these little billboard signs up that tell me how many liters of whatever content it needs in there but anyways uh, yeah that's all squared away and, and going so the upper plateau is ready for harvest uh as you can see we're down here i definitely want to take care of the lower plateau take care of the bigger fields first uh yeah we did the horses in yesterday's episode and and sold the wool as well so it looks like by selling the pig selling the sugar I was kind of like I said at the end of the last episode, I want to get to like $1.1 million in the bank account. That's probably possible. Uh, I had not checked the price on the meat. We got a good amount of meat as well sitting around. 
So if I need a little bit extra more cash, I might be able to do it that way. But as we're down here, I think I think once I get this cleared up a little bit, uh, we'll get going. As for our seed rolls, the original seed roll that we have down here has the stock seed into it. So I want to plant the oats with the stock seed. The other seed roll has the clean seed in it. Uh, that's the blue one. The blue one has the clean seed in it. So that would be uh, whatever, probably the cotton field. But I've got to use up that stock seed and the green one. And I prefer to do that with the cereal crop. Of course, the cotton field, kind of important. Also, the good news, uh, if the price goes up high enough, I don't know. The cotton price is actually on the rise at the moment. I think we have just shy of three modules from the harvest on the west side. Uh, was that yesterday or last week? I forgot what that was now. I think it was actually last week we did that harvest. Kind of a disappointing harvest in that cotton field. I don't know why. It should be three almost four cotton modules. I don't know what happened with that harvest, but we end up with one less module. Maybe I, I need to plow that field to reset it. Uh, it seems like I've done that a couple times. I plow it and the field starts reproducing the, uh, the almost the four full modules. So there, yeah, I think, that, I think that gets us all caught up here. Like I said, these straw bales, I expect us to sell them I will double check at the TMR mixer and just uh, before I go sell them to make sure that that's got a huge amount of straw in it. And I think it does. And it's not like I said, it's not a big deal because every two days or every two days ish, we will have cereal crop in these three fields. These three fields down here, yeah, we're going to stick with this wheat and probably oats. I'm not going to start cycling back from wheat to barley, wheat to barley, and then oat, 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 and oats once in a while. I think it'll just be wheat all the time and oats when I kind of need a little bit more stock for the horses and we, we kind of do. I thought about, uh, we usually sometimes plant the oats in the upper plateau, but um, yeah, I don't have a baler up there. I mean, yeah, I can bring this baler up there and do it up there and move the straw a little bit easier, but I think it's easier if we just stick to making just a cereal crop in these three fields here, deal with the straw because it's awfully quick access to the BGA and or to the barn. I'll have to go up and down the, the glorious mountainside that we have over here. So once I get, um, well, it looks like that harvester is going to finish this field. So I want to finish bailing up this field. Uh, I'll move the, the harvester. I don't know if that's dumb or dumber over there, but I'll move them over to the last wheat field. Uh, I got to find it. I, my trailer's on the other side. I got, I need to get these bales out the field so I can start spreading the, the manure on them. I probably only have enough manure between the pigs and the cows to manure the, the three cereal crop fields. I'm not going to have enough to do the uh, cotton field. That's going to be way too much. Uh, we've been using tons of manure here on the farm recently. So, <laughs> yeah, the cows just need to keep on producing and uh, they're trying their best you know we're making sure they're fed and, and producing manure but I will bring you back in a little while uh, whew, yeah I need a, I'm gonna want to finish bailing this and then uh, I'll probably meet you on the other side with the red Volvo truck we will probably sell the pigs first and then um, I'll, when I put the animal trailer away I'll grab the flatbed and bring it over here we'll pick up some of these bales so the John Deere can start spreading manure well, you'll see the process. So I'll see you in a little while. Well, the situation's looking all good. I got the harvester in the last wheat field. And I did remember this time, after I got caught up with the T8, I almost said the T6, uh, the T8 with the baler, uh, the, uh, he's following the combine. Yeah, I kind of remember to do that this time. One thing I kind of keep forgetting is when you're hauling 120,000 liters of grain, need to slow down a little bit making corners one of these days I shall learn but uh, we also have a second cotton module in our cotton field so that's always good news at 40,000 liters apiece yeah from here we are going over to our bakery and this is the first time coming over to if you want to call it the new bakery I guess we can I tried lowering it into the ground a little bit more so hopefully I lowered it as low as it would go but I still think the bumps are still here it's not as bad as it used to be. Uh, so it's only going to take like 90,000. I say that like it's a small number. Um, but on this farm it is. 
So yeah, it's going to take 90,000, which leaves us 30,000, so the rest is going to go to the silo. And while I'm at the silo, i got to reload up with 90,000 liters of sugar beet because the sugar factory has nothing in it at the moment. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping when I leave here, it's going over the curb is not as bad as it used to be. So yeah, the factories, like I said, all I had to do was sell them and then re-put them back down. Although right where the truck is parked, you can probably see it, there's still like a texture problem right there where the ground is uh, doing the hokey pokey. Uh, my guess is um, there's like maybe two panels there and the game's trying to figure out what panel to show. Uh, that's why we see that. Um, yeah, so I need to go get some sugar beet put into the sugar factory so I get up and running. Wait, is this sugar? Wait, what? I thought this only held 90,000 liters. Uh, okay, so it must hold 100,000 liters because it left me with 20. All right, that's fine. That's, that's, I mean, whatever. All right. Let's go put this into the silo. And we'll grab the sugar beet. And pop that into the sugar factory. Then I'll get this back over to... Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think. Do I need this trailer over here for anything else? I don't think so. Oh, wow. I may have to clean that up before I keep going in there. Well, if I can get around it, that's fine. Yep. That goes way, way back when I thought, you know, it would be a great idea. And it turned to be a terrible idea. Just terrible. In order to get rid of where the situation got now, either got to remove the, the hog barn, which I probably won't do, or remove the silo, which I'm not going to do. So, <laughs> just have to deal with it until, uh, until we're done here. Whoop, sugar... Sugar beet, yes, I have. We are full with a half million liters, so I gotta get the sugar factory up and running. Because in a day, <laughs> yeah, I got too much sugar beet. We're probably gonna be selling a whole bunch of sugar beet. Uh, since I got withering off, I may even leave the sugar beet field there for a while. The corn, uh, yeah, the corn field, the cotton field, I will take care of. I wanna go. That's good enough. Oh, eighty-nine, seven, three, six, close to ninety as I want. I didn't want to overload because. That would mean I have to come back in and dispose it before I head back over and drop that trailer off. Uh, yeah, so that brings you kind of up to date here. In just a second, I'll bring it back. We'll be in the red Volvo. And um, actually, no, we'll stay right here. Um, I don't need to rush over. That combine should be good for a little while. I think I can sell some of the pigs before I head back over. So we'll just keep using the blue one. And I want to go right past. There we go. All right, get the sugar factory up and running again. And it will start up here probably, in, actually in a minute or so. I think every 15 minutes it'll, it looks for the crop to be in there. Which should be in one more minute. Either way, it doesn't matter. Empty this on out. Yeah, I do like this trailer just at the uh, unload speed. a little slow. I guess I could go on the XML file and edit that out. But, you know, it's 120,000 liters and it's a small opening at the bottom of the trailer. You expect to have... A slow unload anyways so by the time we get done selling the hogs we should be over a million dollars and then of course I got you'll see here in just a second how many pallets of sugar beet uh, yeah sugar beet how many pallets of sugar actually it already started making sugar yeah we go past here and you can see all the pallets of sugar that we have about three and a half trailer loads worth and I think with the price that we're going at, we usually get like 70000 per, so that will be like $210,000 worth. Good chunk of change. Now, by my calculations, if I do 24, uh, we should be like at 470 pigs. I think it's going to be 470 pigs. I have not looked, uh, but I'm pretty sure. I just want to make sure we're not too low. Actually, we're at 490. Alright. 490. So, yes. Definitely take two trailers worth out of here. So, this takes a second to do. So, you know, I'll just bring it back for the second load uh, when I load because I gotta sit here and click this uh, too many times. Don't adjust your screens or the color because, yeah, it was a blue Volvo now it's red. Uh, <laughs> I got done with the first load of pigs and I was doing it the combine filled up so I went over there with the blue Volvo and the trailer to unload it so they're going back to work uh, the cotton harvester is doing rather well it's not quite it's not even halfway done yet but uh, I'm pretty impressed how fast it's getting along there 
anyways, as you can see, uh, we're just at $949,000. I don't want that button. I want this button. Thank you very much. And I got to sit here and click this 84 times or whatever it is. Uh, yeah, so it just takes a while. But uh, our pigs should be all set. I think I'm left with like 320 pigs. So the reproduction rate still should be at 30 minutes-ish. It might be a little bit more, but uh, not much more. Um, so yeah, we're getting two pigs every hour with the hog farm that we got going. I, I, I could call it a hog farm because that's all we're really doing is this, you know, while well, they're reproducing the hogs and uh, we're selling them. Uh, confirm that. Most of the time we bring them here, but when the meat factory gets kind of low on some meat, we bring some hogs over there. Because one hog will bring in, I think I did a test where it brings in 20,000 liters of meat. And sometimes the meat sells for $1,000 per 1,000 liters, so one hog can actually bring in $20,000 if it's all done right. Um, yeah, so the hog barn is is a good way to go if you got the resources for it. Anyways, uh, time to bring this trailer back and park it on up. And before I bring the flatbed over, we're going to take a look at the sugar prices. If the sugar prices are still going up, then we'll leave the sugar let be still. But uh, if the price is gone, uh, or not gone, but stabilized, we will go ahead and load up with some sugar on the way over before I bring the flatbed over and start taking up some straw bales. Yeah, potatoes uh, are on the hold, and I usually clean the pigs first thing in the morning. I probably should just do it when I, they need to be done. Oh, I thought I had it. I'm trying to back in blind. Well, I'm not blind, but you know what I'm saying. It's your blind side. I don't know why I always try to get as close as I can to the post when... Now, this is the only thing I really park in here. All right, so before I go ahead, let's go to the market. Uh, we are close to the sugar. Uh, so the price has stopped at 940 at the bakery. So yes, we will grab a trailer load of sugar. Then we'll go to the bakery, sell that. Then we'll go to the other side. Well, we will be on the other side and start picking up the bales. So at least the John Deere can start spreading some manure down on the fields. So definitely we'll be able, be able to pay off $1 million by the end of nighttime. Um, I'm not sure if that'll be this episode or not. Because I will probably try to get the whole harvest done. I may do a lot of work off camera between this week and next week. Meaning uh, I'll just take care of the fields on the east side. So I want to finish the cotton harvest there. I may sell the cotton. But I will not go past midnight because... I'm pretty sure you might want to be around it for the big payout because I might be selling the cotton as well. And if we sell the cotton, if it gets up to $2,000 per 1000 which it sometimes can, uh, we should have a big payout because we got uh, just about 120,000 liters over here in storage and we'll have whatever this field produces for us this evening, which could be 200,000 liters of cotton maybe. So we're talking for we're, we're talking a lot of cash <laughs> yeah. talking a lot of cash I mean I'll throw a number out there we could have seven hundred thousand dollars worth of cotton if the price goes up to two thousand so with no traffic here now it's nice to be able not to worry about it. I can especially when it comes time to back into the bakery because the bakery always used to be a problem uh yeah the traffic used to come kind of i don't want to say fast but fast enough to where they always ram into your trailer so pretty decent price this evening for sugar let's go ahead and just don't do that do that there we go and then disconnect the trailer so it sells quick 75,000 of course I got a couple more trailers to go so yeah definitely gonna be able to pay off 1 million dollars off that loan all right so bring this hut up and then switch over to large square bales turn this on the combine's about full of grain once again which is good I am gonna have one hay bale in here but uh, that's fine 
Thank you for auto-loading because to do a series like this on your own, <laughs> it takes a lot. I don't think I'd have time to sit here and do one bail at a time. I remember, I forgot what map it was in 17. I know I talked about it before. It's the, it was an FS-17. Um, it was a 16 times map. Oh, we, t oh, it was an, is it, um, yeah, I cannot remember. We talked about it before, though. Uh, I think that's the biggest field I ever did. Those fields uh, on that map cost like 40 million because they're just, I mean, I think this map is a times two map. I forget, uh, but you can just imagine a 16 times map what the size of that would be. But uh, I did a wheat field on there, and I did bales, and I did it with a 4,000 liter baler. Wow. Um, yeah, my old PC did not like that too much. I forgot how many bales I had in that field, but I remember it was over a thousand. I want to say it was like 2,300 bales ended up in that field. And they got so laggy, it's like, okay, time to sell the bales. And luckily I had a trailer, trailer like this to go ahead and go around and pick up the bales. Seems like our baler was uh, dropping all the bales off on the edge of the fields. Yep, you have a full grain tank. I hear you. I'll be over there in just a second. And that's kind of crucial because I am paying two workers. I got one in the combine and of course the T8 is right behind it bailing. So I don't want two workers getting paid for doing nothing. All right, we'll turn that engine off. So here we are on the cotton harvest. And if I look over, well, we got two modules. I'm pretty, it looks like the way they're spaced out, they're close to a third module. Bring them on. Oh, good, the harvester, the, the, the pipe is on the, I don't want to say the correct side, but it's on the good side. It's on the good side. I'll probably bring this grain over now because I picked up enough bales over there that the, well, you know, you're not playing Grand, Grand Theft Auto here. Just back up. There you go. Park you there. Yeah, it's getting to be a little do si -do the last couple episodes. Uh, just so much work going on here. This was kind of what I was fearing a little bit when I said, oh, I'm going to buy these, all the fields down here. I was concerned that it would be a lot more work to where, yeah, it's hard for me to do some work. It's going to be more, mostly just help, help them here, help them there, pretty much. I got to see, where is the slurry? No, manure. Uh, the hog barn. Hang on a second. The hog barn has how much manure? 115. That is the same as the cows, I think, right now. So uh, the cows actually got a little bit more, so it doesn't matter. But I will switch over to the cow barn. And no, I'm, I'm wasting too much manure there. Kind of forgot the working width of this thing. All right, that should be good enough. Uh, did the field need anything other than just, you know, manure? No, lime and everything, that's all good. All right, so what was I doing now? Oh yeah, I gotta bring the wheat over. So uh, this is gonna go into the silo over at the hog barn. And I'm going to try to pick up the rest of these straw bales. Um, probably bring it back in just a moment. Well, it's always just a moment for you. But, yeah, I'm going to get rid of the, get rid of the grain that I have here. I'm going to pick up more straw bales, fill the trailer. I'm going to check the BGA. Basically, I'm checking the t uh, total mix ratchet the mixer. Just make sure it's got enough straw in it. But I think we're selling that straw and that one hay bale. And, yes, here we are with a trailer load of straw and maybe a hay bale somewhere. Yep, there it is. I see it. I see it in there. It's there. So 38 bales of straw, one bale of hay. Had plenty at the TMR mixer. We're talking like 800,000 liters sitting in there. Well, let's go ahead and just unload all this.
there we go. I think I sold them all. I don't know how much I got. I wasn't really paying much attention because, well, let's face it, it's straw. So it, to me, it didn't matter. Uh, but they're all gone. Um, yeah, we're still emptying out the combine. Uh, hopefully one more. Well, I don't want to say hopefully. I mean, I, I would love to keep just unloading the combine. Let, let the harvest keep on going. We have a third cotton module in our cotton field. And if I look at the map, that's the best way to tell how far we're along. So yeah, we got three mo cotton modules already. So probably four. It might be four more modules. We might get seven in total. That sounds good. Then, of course, that means we got three. Wait, what did I do with those cotton modules that were here? Oh, no, we sold. I sold those. I sold those. Those have already been sold. That's right. I forgot about that. Those were sold. I was like, uh, did they disappear on me? What the heck, heck happened? Uh, but since we got an empty trailer, we're going back over to pick up some more sugar pallets. And get another, what was it, like 70, 75, whatever, thousand dollars worth of sugar. Get them on out of here. So like I said, next week um, I'll have the winery and vineyard figured out. Either we may just have one factory that does both or I may have the same factories back down. The, the problem with that is where I placed them. It can be a little tricky to get those in there. Okay, I got to make sure I put this back on. Where is it? Pallets. Yes. And let's start loading up. And it is getting to be that time of in Farming Simulator, 7.30 in the evening, which means what? It means uh, it's going to start getting dark. Slowly but surely it'll get dark. Um, I'll be working some midnight oil here. Maybe not, not to midnight, but uh, the cotton module harvester is getting along rather well. I think the John Deere finished spreading the cow manure in the first field, get him over to the second field. And once the TEA is done bailing the straw behind the combine... Um, I'll hook up to the green seed roll and start planting the stock seed in the, the field and we'll be doing, be doing oats. Need some oats for the horses. Now I can't remember, it's either tomorrow or the day after the second horse barn paddock will be ready for sale. Not that many horses in that one as we had. I think the one we did in this morning, in game morning, we did 10 horses. I think the next horse stable um, has eight horses and then the her third horse stable has 16 horses in it so uh, that might be three days out but either way for the next couple in game days uh, we're going to get a good enough amount of money just from the horses alone All right, let's go ahead and unload those unhitch I don't know why unhitching makes it sell faster it just does Ah, 1.2 so right now we're going to be paying off $1.1 .1 million of the loan. And like I said, if uh, I can get this there, yeah, there's that third cotton module there. So, yeah, if I can get this uh, cotton field all harvested this evening and the price. Well, I say price. What's the price doing here for cotton? Where are we here? It was going on the rise. 17 and still climbing. Um, meat. I got tons of meat. I did want to keep an eye on that. Timberline Flour Mill. I may be selling that as well. Might as well start selling everything and have a good uh, payoff tonight. That would be wonderful. Yeah, you can see it's starting to get a little bit dark. Yeah, the John Deere is done here. Um, I am done picking up the bales in the second field, so you can get started on that. That's what you always do, jump out of a moving vehicle. That's what you want to do. No, you don't. All right, let's get this lined up well enough. Somewhere right about here probably looks good. Yeah, that's pretty darn good right there. I could have just jumped out of the vehicle and went to the went to the truck. Um, now we got to switch this back over to large square bales. Turn on. And get rid of the HUD. So, let's see. I think I started... Um, that cotton module harvester has been at it for like an hour and 15 minutes-ish. So, <laughs> yeah, 
I probably got like another hour and a half to two hours for that to finish that harvest. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going to be a while. But uh, it'll be a good payday. So when we start next week, it'll be it'll be quitting time here for sure. Uh, we'll just probably have finished the harvest in the cotton field. Probably be at 11 o'clock at night is what it's going to be, be my guess. But all the straw, the straw bales will all be sold. Um, by then, we should have... Um, I don't know how many of these fields I'll have reseeded with oats. Uh, this field here that we're in will be back with wheat into it. I'm not going to go around and pick up all the loose straw that's still on the ground. Uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, bury that into the ground when we seed. Yeah, but things are looking rather good here. It's going to be a pretty good uh, start to next week, I hope. And like I said, oh yeah, you almost got a full owl to take care of you while you're on the correct side. But yeah, I think that's where we're going to wrap up for today, guys. Um... Yeah, we got everything kind of situated with the factory, so that's good news. Uh, it's not going to be too complicated. Uh, and the harvest has begun. Uh, especially, when I need to get a lot of this done because tomorrow, when tomorrow comes... When to, yeah, I'm not going to sing that song. Uh, but yeah, when tomorrow comes, we got the upper plateau we're going to have to take care of. Uh, and the cotton field, at some point tomorrow, will also be ready for harvest. As for the sugar beet field, I think we may just leave that be for a minute because... I, I still got like, what was it, 410,000 liters in the silo now. So um, I can either just leave it there or I can harvest and sell it. But we know sugar beet alone, when you sell that, kind of sucks. But then again, you know, it's a crop rotation thing. If I don't, if I just leave it sitting there, it doesn't really make us any money with it, the field not actually uh, progressing along. So I may harvest it and just have to sell the sugar beet outright. Or, or, hmm. Nah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it putting down another silo just to put sugar beet into it. Oh, man. That's a thought now, isn't it? Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm going to try and wrap up this episode. Not going to do that now, but <laughs> that's good. It is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. And I'll catch you next time right here in the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.